Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to another one of my investing videos. And in this video, I am going to talk about how well do option callers really work, okay? And this video will be about Twitter, which if you have been paying attention to the market at all and the economy, then you know that Twitter, as Facebook and a few other tech stocks have taken a major nosedive. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, first of all, what is an option caller strategy? An option caller is when you do three things. First thing you do is you buy the stock in multiples of 100 shares. And then the second thing you do is you buy the same number of put options per 100 shares. So if you buy 100 shares, you would buy one put option. If you buy 200 shares, you buy two put options and so forth. And then the third thing you do is you sell the same number of call options per 100 shares. So again, if you buy 100 shares, you would sell one call option, 200 shares, you sell two calls and so forth. And why do we use option callers? Well, number one, we buy the stock because you want to make some money. It's plain and simple. Okay. Number two, we buy puts because you don't like losing money, right? Now, the thing about puts is that when the stock goes down, the value of puts go up. The reason why that is is because a put option is a contract to sell the stock at a set price, right? So the value of the put will increase in value for that reason. And then the third thing is we sell call options because the money that we get pays for the puts. We are compensated for that transaction. So the calls would be a short position, the puts would be a long position, and of course the stock would be a long position. So that's an option caller strategy in a nutshell. It is a great strategy. Now, here's a lovely chart for Twitter. Okay, this is a one year chart, and you can see it's had a very good year all up until that last little leg. You can see the lovely red candles there. This is a candlestick chart, and I circled in yellow. It has really taken a nose dump, right? Thanks to all of the privacy data concerns and all of this information that came out about Facebook, and oh my gosh, you know, Twitter and Facebook are using our information for their own purposes. I mean, how is that shocking? I have no idea but that's what now all of a sudden everybody is panicking panicking and Twitter wants to go down and so does Facebook and some of the other tech stocks right you know big big surprise I can't believe how shocking that people are that, that these companies are using our data for that but oh well okay so people are gonna panic and sell and sell and sell right so Twitter takes a nose tank and the current price of Twitter uh, today is March 30th, uh, 2018. Markets closed today because it's a holiday, Good Friday. And so the markets are closed in observance of that holiday. And so this closing price is the price that it closed at yesterday, $29.01. Okay. Now here's a 10 day chart of Twitter and you can see it has not been pretty. 10 days ago, Twitter was up to about $35 and now it's down all the way to the price that you just saw, $29.01. And here is the wonderful thing that I did back on March 21st, 2018, which would have been about a week ago. Again, today is March the 30th, 30th 2018. I bought 200 shares of Twitter at the lovely price of $32.70. And then the next thing I did was I bought two put options, $32 puts, at the price of $7.30 per contract. Uh, those puts expire in 2020. That's about two years, actually more like a year and a half now. Or, uh, actually, that would be like 21 months, but it's got a long ways to go. And then the third thing I did was I sold the two call options, $39 strike price, and I got $115 per contract. Again, those are, that would be short position. And you can see the numbers right there. I underlined them. That's the money that I put up. And the green numbers, that's the money that gets credit to my account. And so it's very cool selling calls and just being an option seller in general. You can use that money the minute that you click the Okay, so this is a basic setup of an option caller strategy. I do option callers a little different. A standard option caller, you just pick the same, uh, I'm sorry, you pick the same expiration, but I like to buy long-term expiration and sell short-term expiration because you can make money on the time decay, on the difference in expiration, okay? So, tail of the tape, number one, bought 200 shares of Twitter, $32.70. What a wonderful 
decision I made, right? And the second thing I did was I bought the open two $32 puts, $730 contract, and then number three, I sold the open two calls, $39 strike price at $115 per contract. That is my option caller strategy that I opened up on March 21st, about a week ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, number one, Twitter drops all the way down to $29.01, and that would be very bad for me if I just bought the shares. I'd be down on eight hundred dollars okay but luckily I'm smart enough to use these strategies and I bought two put options okay and those puts went up to eight hundred and fifty dollars a contract you can see I circled in big red line in the lower right hand corner the price or the premium of those puts and I and you can see the bid is eight thirty the ask is eight eighty so I just put eight fifty as a safe price that the order would get filled and you can see in the upper left corner, I circled the expiration, so you know that these are the long puts that I bought. And then the third thing that I did, this is my short position, I sold the open two $39 call options, and those dropped all the way down to $0.39 cents a contract. And again, I circled in big red lines, the bid and the ask. The bid is 37 the ask is 40 so 39 is a safe price that the order will get filled. And in the upper left, I circled in red the expiration. You can see those are the ones that expire in about a month and a half now on March 21st. So those would have been about 60 days out that I would have sold those, okay? So, uh, tail of the tape here, putting them side by side on the left is what I did on March the 21st. Number one, uh, bought Twitter shares at $32.70. And then number two, I bought two put options at $730 a contract. And then number three, I sold two $39 call options, got $115. And then on the right is March the 30th. Okay, so now Twitter is down to $29.01. So definitely losing some money here. But luckily, you can see that those puts are helping me. And those went up to $850, right, which would be a profit of $100 per contract if imagine if I would have just bought those puts and not bought the shares I'd be up $240 I would have made money on a stock that's going down okay that's a different kind of strategy I don't do it because as you can see I, I tend to get it wrong plenty of so much about my decisions about what stocks are doing that I decided the best thing to do for me is to use these low risk strategies uh, of the option caller and then the third thing that happened right there you can see the value of the calls went down from $115 to 39 cents so I made a profit because those are my short positions right so tail of the tape number one share price drops from $32.70 to $29.01 which would be a loss of $3.69 per share I bought 200 shares so that would be almost a $800 loss would be about $770 loss for me that'd be really bad I would not be very happy about that but luckily uh, I bought two $32 put options and those went up from $730 to $850 for a profit of $120 and then the third thing that I made profit on was those call options that I sold down there and those went down from $115 to $0.39 for a profit of $76 per contract so <coughs> excuse me uh, my loss is cut from 369 down to a dollar 73 cents per share now my total loss is 346 because I bought 200 shares it's not 100 but 200 so I had to multiply those numbers by two right so my total loss is 346 dollars okay I bought two put options and I sold two calls and I bought 200 shares okay so that's my total loss in this particular instance so, uh, in case you're interested, what is the total P&L or return on my money? Well, here's my money right here in this particular account that I made this transaction. And I circled in green. The value of my account is currently at $19,730.80. Okay. And so, in order to calculate that return, the first thing I do is I put down how much I lost, which is $346. And then the second thing, I take that 346 and then I add the value of my account 
which was $19,730.80, as you just saw. I add those two together, and I get $20,076, excuse me, $20,076, I'm getting all tongue-tied, and 80 cents. And that's the initial value of my account before Twitter decided to go down. And then the third thing I do is I take that $346 loss, and I divide that into the... $20,076.80, $20, which is the initial value of my account, and I come up with 0 0.0172, or in other words, my total return PL for this particular situation is a whopping I lost 1.72% on my money. Now, that's pretty darn good when you take a look at the numbers here. The price of Twitter has dropped a total of 14.5%. 34% from where I bought it, right? $32.70 all the way down to $29.01. That's a 14.34% loss. But instead of losing all that money, I only lose 1.72%. So you tell me, how well do option callers actually work? I think I can rest my case on all of the dozens and dozens of videos that I have done on the option caller strategy that it is a very good strategy and there are so many things that I can do right now I mean number one those $32 put options I still own them okay so I can hold on to those for the next two years and I can continue to sell more call options month after month those call options that I'm making money on are going to expire in a month and a half and I can sell some more call options while I'm waiting for Twitter to turn around and come back up because I personally think that Twitter is going to come back up. I think this is just a scare. This is just people panicking over nothing. I mean, how is it shocking to learn that Twitter and Facebook and these companies are using our information for their own interest for marketing or for whatever? Why is that a big surprise? I don't know. But for whatever reason, people are getting all freaked out about that. And so Twitter and these tech stocks are taking a beating. But I think that this will pass and Twitter will go back up. And guess what's going to happen to my account when those... When the price of Twitter goes back up, I'm going to make a truckload of money and the option caller strategy will have done its job and it will have protected my money. So I rest my case. Uh, Twitter is a good stock to own, but even more importantly, the option caller strategy is a legit strategy that will protect you during times of turbulence and volatility. So, I thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments section. And I'll do my best to answer those best of my ability. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the